Bye bye progressive tax in Australia. Last night, Australian Parliament passed the Coalition's $158 billion income tax plan. The Australian Labor Party ultimately supported the plan in the Senate, with crossbenchers Jackie Lambie and Centre Alliance offering the final crucial votes the federal government needed to pass the legislation. Only the Greens voted against the bill, with One Nation abstaining, while crossbencher Corey Bernardi was absent. The new legislation will retrospectively offer tax cuts for the last financial year, so depending on your income, you might get a bulked up tax return as soon as next week. If you earned less than $37,000, you'll get $255 back. Between $37,000 and $48,000, you'll be getting back between $255 and $1,080. Between $48,000 and $90,000, you'll get back a flat rate of $1,080. Between $90,000 and $126,000, you'll get back between $1,080 and $0. And for incomes over $126,000, the new tax cuts won't apply to you. At least, not now. You see, the tax cuts will come in three stages. Stage 3 will institute a flat 30% tax rate for anyone earning between $45,000 and $200,000. If you earn $20,000 a year, don't expect any savings. If you earn $37,000, you'll be getting a flat $255 tax cut for the foreseeable future. Not too bad, I guess. If you earn $45,000, lucky you. You'll be getting $855 this year which will go up to $1,080 from 2023. If you earn $87,000 a year, you're even luckier. You'll be getting $1,080 this year, and from 2025 onwards, you'll be saving $2,130. Just what you need. As you can see, as your income increases, you'll be getting less back this year, but pocketing more in the future. By 2025, you'll be saving big bucks, because you deserve it. You earn a lot of money. If you're one of the lucky ones with an income of $200,000, you'll be getting tax cuts amounting to $11,600. $640 by 2025. That's 5.82% of your salary. If you only earn $37,000, your $255 tax cut in 2025 will be a whopping 0.69% of your salary. You see, your salary is too meagre to warrant a huge tax cut. If you're rich though, you deserve a break, and so the Australian government will reward you and give you a much needed 5.8% salary increase. If you haven't sensed my sarcasm by now, I'll make it very clear. These new tax breaks are not progressive. They are the opposite. They are regressive. The richer end of town are getting substantial relief, while workers on Struggle Street are barely seeing any gains. If you earn $20,000 a year, well, you'll be getting absolutely nothing. However, if you earn $20,550 per year, you'll be seeing a whopping $2 coming your way sometime soon. That's less than 0.01% of your salary. It's kind of comical, really. The Grattan Institute have released a report titled Budget Blues – Why the Stage 3 Income Tax Cuts Should Wait. In it, they show that most of the benefits of the full tax package go to high income earners. Low and middle income earners would have an average tax rate 3.7% higher in 2030 than in 2019, while the top 15% of income earners would have an average tax rate 1% lower than today. As I said before, this is not progressive, this is regressive. As Investopedia state, a regressive tax is a tax applied uniformly, taking a larger percentage of income from lower income earners than from high income earners. It is in opposition to a progressive tax, which takes a larger percentage from high income earners. A regressive tax affects people with low incomes more severely than people with high incomes. While it may be fair in some instances to tax everyone at the same rate, it is seen as unjust in other cases. Greens leader Senator Richard Di Natale criticised the Labor government for supporting the legislation. He said, By voting for $158 billion in revenue cuts that will hurt people doing it tough and line the pockets of millionaires, Anthony Albanese has abandoned the mantle of opposition leader. What's the value of the Labor Party if they are simply a paler version of the Morrison government? Even Labor Senator Penny Wong said the party still believed it was irresponsible to support Stage 3 of the tax package, accusing the government of holding tax cuts for low- and middle-income earners hostage. In conclusion, the Liberal National Coalition support the big end of town, and the Labor Party, who are meant to support the average Australian worker, went along with them.